Hello, my friends! Welcome back to another episode of the Radical Restart. I'm so excited to be back. How is everybody doing? I'm sorry I've been away for so long. Um, I've had bronchitis. Not fun. Not fun, let me tell you. Lost my voice completely. Um, kind of stuck working from home a couple of days of the week and just getting getting back into the swing of things but i have some exciting things because today is a good day to have a great day so we've got a cup of something one warm and wonderful like fly lady says yeah so it's time for a little slurp session here we go oh yes indeed so we're gonna set that there and we're gonna get started with our next cash stuffing video. So I've been working um, this morning. It's Saturday, April 1st. No, this isn't an April Fool's joke. Um, I was very, very excited to see my son pop in from um, Michigan this morning. He just showed up on my doorstep and surprised me um, with a visit, so it was so exciting to see him. Him and his beautiful wife are down for a couple of days, and so they wanted to pop in and just say hi, and so <clears throat> what a wonderful start to a beautiful, beautiful April Fool's Day. <laughs> okay, so we're going to get some cash stuffing out of the way. Uh, first thing that I have done, I've gone to the bank, and so I have my cash here ready to stuff. So we're going to go ahead and count it out first today. I think that should be probably a better better option and better alternative. So I have some 20s here. Let's count them out. 20, 40, 60. Right there. 70. 70. Okay, come on 20. Work with me. Why is he not wanting to go in there? There we go. Oh, I had more. How about let's just try that again. We should get them in denomination form first. So let's do that. Make sure we don't have any more surprises. See? No? Okay, here we go again. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20. Forty-five, fifty, fifty-five, sixty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, sixty-seven. Now I'm hoping that that happens to add up to <laughs> my denominations because I didn't check that before I began filming. So we're gonna cross our fingers and our toes that Becky didn't make a mistake, but that's all right. We all make mistakes sometimes, right? So I'm going to do it that way for right now. And we'll set that up to the, to the top before we start off with our routine. So I wanted to kind of do a recap of March and kind of explain the system that I've found the most helpful um, to use during this month. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, here we go. So... This is a kind of a, a blanket format of how I set up my budget. And I'll show you a little more in detail on my April budget because I'm going to go through that. So basically, I take um, all of my checks. The very first thing that I do is I highlight when and what type of check I will be receiving for the month. I divide the the blank spreads into that amount of columns and then I go ahead and start determining and allocating what debts, what savings, and everything that would fall into what check. So basically I start with the budget at the top and if I have my ties, I have any other checks that have debts, debts, and then I end up with my totals. And that is the total that I use for 
um, for my cash envelopes. So well, that's kind of how I do it. Let's look here and see if I actually wrote out. Did I write out? Let's check it out. <laughs> for some reason, I don't think I... Oh yeah, I did. Sorry. This is why I have blank pages in between my calendar spreads. If you've ever, if you've watched my um, previous videos, you see, <laughs> excuse me, that I have blank calendar, or I have blank spreads between uh, each of my calendars, and that's why because throughout the month there are always things that pop up in my head, and I'm always trying to remember. Oh yeah, I need to write this down. So. It's kind of nice to have those blank pages in between your calendar pages so that you can scratch it out if you need to. So that's exactly what I did with this calendar. It looks like I started with with a, um, a budget blanket to show you. And then this morning I decided to go ahead and flesh it out a little more detailed. So... We are cash stuffing for the month, <coughs> excuse me, the last two months or last two weeks of March. So basically the last two paychecks that I had, which were my part-time paycheck and my full-time paycheck. So, and I wrote myself a note that I needed to take out my money for my Siri challenge. If you need a little more, um, I'll probably explain a little more in depth later on about my Siri challenge, but any special notes that I have, I always put in this column. <clears throat> so here is a spread that I made for these last two paychecks here. So on the 30th, I had my part-time paycheck. Um, I started off with the budget, my forecasted budget for that paycheck. Remember, we always budget below what the actual paycheck is. So for example, if I <laughs> excuse me, if I made, let's just say I made $300 uh, from this part-time paycheck, I would budget $250 because I always want to have that extra little layer, <laughs> excuse me, layer of security. Sorry, the bronchitis is still still showing its, its dreary head whenever I talk. But I always want to have that little extra buffer. So even if it's $25, you know, whatever, whatever, um, try to budget a little bit below that paycheck. So you're building in a layer of security, uh, as you go along through your month. So for me, for this part-time paycheck, I knew that my, out of my budget for this one, I had my tithes, my giving, I had a subscription and I had some debts that I was throwing some money at that I needed to, needed to go ahead and throw a little extra money at. For this paycheck plus I took out a little bit for my food and my gas and I ended up with a total of $55 and then on my full-time paycheck it looks like I took out the tithes for that and paying my car the city bill phone insurance a little bit of food and gas there and then I had a total of $109 so this is what I had to work with this this uh, round of paychecks um, to work on my cash stuffing. So I went ahead and went to the bank and I had some notes here that I wanted to to kind of flesh out a little bit a little bit more in detail. I'm a person that likes to write in pencil first. Um, I'm kind of OCD that way. I like to have <laughs> I like to have neat pages, although you would not be able to notice that from my previous pages. But you know what? I'm just starting on this journey, and I figured might as well start somewhere and not be perfect. So it uh, looks like for me this is going to be my routine. I want to make sure that I have my Walmart savings. So I'm going to show you that in just a second. Um, so that's going to be first uh, first on my closeout steps. Um, then I'm going to figure out my Siri savings, series and o Siri and overage savings. Then I want to set up my next month's pay stub days. And I want to build my budget page. Um, then I've wrote my basic 
just plain Jane savings challenges that I want to work on right at this moment. I have other savings challenges that I've got ideas for that I'd like to add a little here and there. But, you know, when we restart, start or restart in my case, and I am restarting my cash envelopes for this, excuse me, for this year. I want to take it gentle. Gentle steps seem to be the best way for Becky to get back into the swing of things. So I'm a person, I like to go all in. And if I try to go all in and I make a mistake, I give up. And we're not doing that. The Radical Restart is not about that. It's about jumping in wherever you're at, taking tiny baby steps, and we're going to see them grow in, into amazing things. So let's get started with our setup. So I was talking about the uh, Walmart savings. Um, I was looking to see. I forgot to bring my receipts, but for one of my um, kind of side side incomes I do work at Walmart and as a benefit or a perk at Walmart you do get a discount card and every time I make a purchase there may be a small percentage and I decided that instead of allowing that to just go by the wayside there's a small percentage of savings I didn't want it to go by the wayside so I decided to save my receipts so I have all of my receipts saved here uh, I decided to scan them um, and highlight my discounts. So if I have a discount that's on a receipt, I save it. But I always scan my receipts into at least two, if not more, um, cash apps. One that I have is Ibotta. So if I've used Ibotta... Then I cash it. Uh, I turn in my receipt for Ibotta. Usually I do that a little more um, instantaneously because I don't want to lose. Uh, sometimes you can lose those lose those benefits. But also I have um, the Fetch app. Sometimes I use Upside, and I have just gotten turned on to a new app, new cash app called Maryfield. And I'm going to try to make sure that I link my uh, referral codes. And if you'd like to sign up for those, um, you can use my referral code and we'll both get a little bonus for that. Um, but I scan my receipts on a weekly basis. So I've decided that usually every Saturday, that's my day. I work six days a week um, with two jobs. And Saturday is the day that I have to wrap everything up into a nice neat package. So I have been developing the routine of scanning all of my re receipts on Saturday and it seems to be working well. So I'm going to stick with that. So I've scanned all of my receipts. I have highlighted any discounts that I have gotten through through the last few weeks from Walmart. Um, I decided that I would note that. And so it looks like for this month, I actually saved or got a discount of $16.80. And guess what? That could easily go somewhere else. But I am on purposefully being mindful that I want to save that and see how much that builds up for me. So, I'm going to make a cash envelope for that. Uh, okay, so now let's go on into our next month's paycheck day. So, let me show you what my next month looks like. So, I've already boxed out my actual paycheck days. So, for my Walmart paychecks, I get paid every other Thursday. For my full-time job, I get paid... <laughs> excuse me, the 15th and the 30th of on each month. Um, most of the time, it will actually come in on the weekday. So I, but I just go ahead and highlight the 15th and 30th. It seems to be easier, works easier in my head. And I've color coded it so that I can see it plain and simple. Um, 
And up in the top in my notes, I've already started to develop my Siri challenge. So you'll see up in the top, I've got my Siri challenge and I've got, I counted out one, two, three, four, five weeks for this month. So I went ahead and put in my Siri column and then my overage column. And if you don't know what that is, just shoot me a comment and I'll explain it a little bit later. But in some of my previous videos, I've explained kind of how that Siri game goes for me. But um, since we are budgeting from the last week of March, I have already stuffed my last week's uh, Siri challenge. So I don't think I'll be doing that today. All right. So once we have our pay, pay dates, I go ahead and I transfer that into a nice tidy little spreadsheet. And so for me, I just label the day and then what type of check it is. I know that this is going to be my part-time paycheck, my full-time, my part-time, and my full-time paycheck for the month of April. And I've already laid that out. And so that's how I'll start my budget. So we'll start with, I know that we have our X amount that I budget for my paychecks. So I'll put those up there. And the very first thing that I always take out of my paychecks any time are my tithes. So I know that that will be the first thing that comes out of my account. So I'm just going to write that in here while I'm while I'm with you. So let's write our tithes in to our tithing column. And if you give any giving or save, you know, extra saving. Oh, I'm, I'm writing things, you know, some things, <laughs> things. Okay. Let's turn that into tithes. Yeah, that will work. Okay, Becky, we're going to focus and not think about things. I'm going to try to make it as neat as possible. I did. I have decided I need to tidy up my budget, my budget workbook. Okay. All right. So I'll forecast for April and kind of what's going to come out of each check. And then that'll give me an idea uh, of what my cash stuffing envelope is going to look like. Um, but we're not going to do that for right now. We're going to go ahead and, and get to cash stuffing. So let's bring in our bring in our money. And then I'm gonna get out my binder. Because of course this is always the fun part. So the very first thing that I'm going to focus on is my 12 week challenge. Yes, so here's my spreadsheet that I made for myself. And I think I'll probably make a second second challenge on this side, but my goal is to get this $500 in the bank as quick as, as, quick as I can. Um, you know, Dave Ramsey, um, I've been really big into saving and, and he talks about focusing like a, a gazelle like focus, like being laser focused on one thing, and the first thing that he talks about when he talks about getting out of debt is setting up an emergency fund. And I always think that's a, a, a really good idea. Now, as I go through my budget for the month, as I said, I always do everything in pencil so that I can erase it if I need to. I do the same thing in my challenge sheets. I do everything in pencil that way if something changes and I just can't quite make what I thought I was going to make, I can always erase it if I need to. But for the weeks five and six, I have budgeted 75 and 40. So we'll be stuffing that today. And once we stuff it, 
And then we can actually cross it out. So let's do it. 20, 40, 60, 70, and 5. Yay, we did it! We did it! We got our 75. I don't have my total 75 and 95. I'm not very, I'm not the best at math. So we'll do a little, somebody is already yelling at me that is $170. And if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Let's see here. Yeah, that's 16. Mm hmm 170 Aunt Kay, if you're watching, she taught me in kindergarten. She's probably already yelling at me already over the, over the computer. Okay, and then for week seven, I have allocated $40. So let's get that out. 20 and 40. We're going to add that. And so we should have 210 in our cash envelope. Let's see. That almost means we're almost halfway there. Can you believe it already? I mean, we just started this challenge. This is amazing, so let's try. Let's go ahead and count it. 20, 40, 60, 80, 1. 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 200, 5, and 10. We did! We did! Are you excited? Are you as excited as I am? I'm so excited. I'm almost halfway done with this challenge already. Look at how fast it can add up with just a little bit of focus and a little bit of planning. $210. All right. Give ourselves a gold star. Okay, so the next challenge that I have is my license plate challenge. I still have yet to make myself a beautiful envelope. Let's see how much we have in here already. We should have 10, 15, 20. 25, 30, 31, 32. And it looks like in my budget, I have $15 to go towards my license today. I'm gonna go ahead and use this 10. And yeah, I'll use this five. So I have one 10, one five. And let's see how much we've already built up. 10, 20, 5, 30, 35, 40, 45, 46, 47. We have $47. Can you believe it? Okay. Now, I have made a note for myself that I wanted to clean this sheet up a little bit. It is bugging me. It's bugging me. I'm not, <clears throat> I'm not good with untidy sheets. So I had decided before I even started this video that I was going to tidy the sheet up a little bit. So we're just going to do it right now. We're going to draw us a straight line. And because we have that untidy and unsightly little line, that's okay. Let's see if this works. Good enough. Good enough. A little bit of white pen. I have a white paint pen. That would have went so much better. I don't have any white out. If I had white out, it would look so much better. But that's okay. This will do in a pinch. There we go. Okay, that's awesome. So we've added $15 to our total. And now we have a total of $47 already. Oh boy, that just makes me happy. Makes me happy knowing that I'm gonna be able to walk into the License Bureau in August and hand them their tidy sum for my sticker and I won't have to sweat about it. 
Okay, so it looks like the next thing that I have to stuff that I had allocated was Christmas. So let's see how much we have in our Christmas fund. So we're going to put a 20 in our Christmas. So, so far we have $20, $35 into our Christmas fund. I would like to start a new challenge for that one. <clears throat> and I probably will um, here pretty soon. And then it looks like the last one I have is my self-care envelope, which as you can see, um, yeah, it needs a little love. So let's see what we have left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and ten. We have seventeen dollars. So that's gonna go into our self-care fund as ladies. Girl, please. You know, there comes a time <clears throat> when we do need to have a little bit for ourselves and and it's okay. It really is okay. Okay, well, I think that's about all I have for this video. Um, I hope that you enjoyed it, at least learned something. If you learned one little trick that you can take and utilize for yourself, then I am happy. But if you watched it to the end, I hope you like subscribe give me a thumbs up leave me a comment below tell me some com content uh, creation ideas that you have that you would like to see me do uh, if you like more crafting if you like um, coupon talk if you like cleaning organizing um, cash envelopes only decorating just leave me a comment tell me what you would like to see and like I said before, don't forget to head on over to Dana's channel. It's the idle.homestead. Let me find it for you. Remember, we have it, we have it uh, earmarked so that we can have it pretty easy. Easy reference. Don't forget to visit her, the idle.homestead. Don't forget your dot. You'll find Dana over there. Watch her collect those eggs. And... Um, Stay tuned because we're going to have even more videos to show you. Thank you for being patient. I'm so glad to be back and so glad that I am not sick anymore. I was so tired of being sick. So thank you for hanging in there with me. I love you and I'll talk to you on the next video.